This video goes through how to change your header or logo in uh, a Genesis website. Now, I, I want to just start out by saying if you use a different theme framework, uh, some themes will make it easy for you to switch out uh, an image logo in the dashboard or the back end of your WordPress. But Genesis doesn't do that, at least for, not for the enterprise theme. Um, they have some themes that do make it easy. So this video will actually show you how to, how to do it through your web hosting account, and, and I'll be using the cPanel and HostGator. Starting out, we go to, under Genesis, uh, we go to Theme Settings, and I just want to emphasize and show you again that you need to switch to image logo in order for an uh, image to show as a header. Then we'll save those settings. Going into our cPanel, uh, we go to File Manager. If you're not real familiar with uh, the file manager in, in the cPanel, and this is what it looks like whether you use HostGator or Bluehost, I'm not sure about other hosts, but uh, this is, uh, it's, it's a little bit messy, uh, perhaps intimidating if, if you're not familiar with it, but uh, essentially most of the work is going to be done in this WP content folder, so we'll go in there, and we're going to go under themes. Now you can see our themes installed are the Enterprise Child theme, the Genesis, and then 2011 and 2010 are installed by default with a WordPress install. Uh, we never make changes to the Genesis theme. That's the parent. You don't want to make those changes. When you update Genesis, what will happen is you will override any changes you make there. So you want to make any changes to your website uh, in, the ch in the child theme. And that's going to be the case regardless which framework you use if it has a parent or child uh, set up. So going into the enterprise, now we're going to be changing out an image. So it's in the image folder. Now, the, uh, the Genesis or StudioPress, what they do is, is their logo is indicated by the logo.ping. So what I do when I make a new logo for a website is I title it logo.ping. I upload it. It, uh, it removes the, the default logo, if there is one, and then puts in uh, my new one. So that's how I do that. So what we're going to do is we're in the image file. We're just going to upload a new file, and we'll browse. I uploaded it here, and what happened is I get this box that says the file logo.ping already exists. Well, that's right, and that's because it's uh, set up in, in the theme by default when, I, uh, w when you get it new. So I definitely want to change that, so I'll click Yes, and Upload is complete and it should be good to go. Let's go back to the site. And we'll jump to the website and there's the new logo. It's a simple logo but it looks a lot better than the default text that you get. And I'll end this video just by making a few comments about sizing these. Each theme you get, the uh, default size of the logo or header area is going to be different, okay? Now for this one, this is uh, Enterprise and it has a 400 pixel wide by 125 pixels in height. And so that's, I just went with the default size, but you can change the size. Let's say you wanted a much larger logo or or, or smaller, you can go to, under the appearance, you can go to editor. <laughs> and your header height is changed here, and your title area is changed here. So you got 400 there, and 125 pixel there. But you also have to scroll down to, I'm going to do this twice. You see, because we're using a header image, you're going to have to also change that. Now oh, look, I was wrong. It's, it's 310 for this image, so um, it mine work because I made it really small. But you can change that to any size and the height as well. So I could make it 90 high if I wanted. 
don't get if this is your first time with WordPress, don't um, start diving into this uh, CSS style sheet right away. Uh, I just wanted to bring to your attention if you needed to, you know, radically change the size of your header logo from the default, that's how you do it. Uh, in time, the more you do with uh, WordPress. Um, you're probably going to learn some of this CSS stuff. I never expected to, and when I built my first site, well, over uh, a couple of years here now, um, I routinely go in and change CSS. I'm certainly no expert, but uh, I know my way around it, and I can make a lot of changes and, and dress up a site. For more WordPress video tutorials, including full video courses on how to build uh, many types of websites, go to b2web.com dot com